Hey guys, I'm Bob Corker, and I'm here with another uh, video regarding inflatables. Um, this one's going to be an inflation slash repair video. Um, if you guys notice, I kind of, in one of my other videos, I mentioned about this bird here. Uh, I finally got it to where it would actually hold air. Um, and I'm currently working right now on the beach ball. So, and I'm going to show you pretty much what I'm, what I'm actually going to do with this as far as getting it repaired. And what I use. So, without further ado, I'm going to inflate this. Show you what I've done to it. And then I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do to this ball. We got to leak in a, in a not so usual area. So, let's see what happens here. It's not fully inflated yet. Um, it's just that the wings don't like to inflate with the with the bird, so I'm just gonna slowly push the air into the wings. Okay. Do a little more. Little one here is kind of being a little stubborn. Kind of being a little stubborn, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of help it out here a little bit. As you see, this thing is pretty tight. So. So when I do finally get this wing to inflate, I might just go ahead and burp some of the air out of it if I do. Um, well, it's not that tight now. Is that the way the wing is actually sucking some of the air out of the main body here? Excuse me, let me burp right there like that on camera. But as you can see, this wing is really starting to take. It's really taking its time to to fully inflate. As you see the difference between that one there, you can see this one here for the most part is pretty much inflated. Versus, I like see this one here is just now finally, finally fully inflated. So, yep, this bird is kind of it can be a turd sometimes when it comes to actually inflating it. So, I can pretty much show you exactly what I did and just how many holes this thing actually had. Okay, here's the bird. As you can see, there's a hole there. There's a hole there. And there's a hole there. Three holes in this thing. So, um, I don't know. This is maybe the way I packed it. I don't know what exactly what happened. thought I packed it right, but I guess I didn't. So, I mean, I had a hole there, a hole there, and... Hold right there in the back. Um, now, just to let you guys know, I'm not using actual vinyl repair, if you guys are wondering. I'm actually, blue it or not, and it has actually worked pretty well uh, for me, but it's not the best uh, idea idea for uh, vinyl repair. And that's this right here. It's contact cement. But like I said, it's Stun Me Wanders. It's something I can just buy here in town. I don't really got the high-end uh, vinyl repair, but I will be um, investing in that high-end vinyl repair. Because if I can get into inflatables, I got to invest in, in ways to repair them. Now on to the beach ball. Now, as you can see, same idea with the beach ball here. See? Hole, hole, hole. And there's a hole right there. Yeah, that's right. So I'm actually gonna try to patch that with uh with that shit down there. Um so I'm gonna go ahead and do it and I'll give you an update probably tomorrow, which is kinda late. It's uh, almost one o'clock in the morning here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do this on camera so you can get an idea of what, exactly what I'm doing. And so you can kind of get an idea. I mean, it's done. I mean, Heath Dragon got um, videos on how to repair your inflates and stuff. Um, so I'm not really going to go into detail. If you want to learn how to like repair your inflates, go to his uh, channel. I'll link it in the in the uh, the, the, the uh, description in this video. Uh, you can go to his channel. Uh, and I believe Aaron Rue uh, has a video too on repairing inflatables. Um, you know, there's other channels around it that's pretty much shows you how to repair inflatables. Um, it's just, it's pretty obvious actually what I'm doing. It's just, I'm just using a different pro the only difference is I'm using a different product. That's it. While they tend to use more high, actual, real, real vinyl repair, not just some stuff you buy at the local store, but. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this on the table there so I can actually do it. Hopefully I can do this in videotape at the same time. Okay, it's gotta move this out of the way. As you can see, I have to do it right here on the bed. So you can actually get the eye kind of get an idea of what I'm gonna be doing right here. So first thing I like to do is cleanse the area. Rubbing alcohol. So let's get that. Just got something to wipe it with. I'm couldn't. I'm just. Yes, I'm using toilet paper. That's kind of the only thing I have on hand right now. So we'll probably about yay so. Then you just take the alcohol and just douse it. I don't know if I can do this with one hand and record, but here we go. Just like that. Tip it. Just I can't re tip it like that. Okay. Now the reason why I use rubbing alcohol is it gets grease, it gets everything and it dries. So So let's go ahead and so now the area I want to clean is right in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it down like that. But just like I said, I'm I'm kind of doing it. I mean, I am kind of going fast here. But like I said, Heath Dragon and I believe a couple other uh, inflatable. Inflatable YouTubers um, has done this tutorial to death, basically. So, so I figured, you know, why not just why not just go through their channel uh, if you want to learn how to repair inflates. <sighs> I mean, really, my method is really no different than than theirs. It's just I'm just using a different product. That's really like the only difference. Literally, the only difference between me and Heath Dragon and, and the other guys is that I'm just using a different product. I'm using this instead of actual vinyl repair. That's really the only difference. So, now this is what a fun part's going to come in. The I mean, I need to repair is right there. So, I don't know if I push it, push it in. And repair it, so I can't, so I gotta have it out. To repair it, unfortunately. Well, what I could do is I could have it like that. So I can get the... So I can get the product down in there. So, here we go. You know, I do prefer like when you do do this is do it on a, a more of a, a surface than what I'm doing. Yeah, I am telling you this stuff. If it gets on anything, it will ruin it. It will stain it. But again, this is cement, and it and it does all and it does one thing, and that's pretty much bond things together.
and this stuff hasn't failed me, you know, yet. I mean, it does wear off over time. So it's not the most durable. But until I can actually get my hands on the real deal, it's gonna it's gonna do. So therefore, so I'm just gonna let that set for for however long, and then tomorrow I'll go ahead and uh, give you guys an update. I blow it up, and we'll actually see if it's gonna hold or not. So there you go.